Upright at night. <laughs> One day, Dragon was waiting for his mail when he noticed that Mail Mouse looked very sleepy. Hello, Mail Mouse. Uh, hello, Giraffe. Uh, 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 excuse me. <laughs> Mail Mouse explained that she'd stayed up late the night before, long past her bedtime to see a comet. What's a comet? Well, a comet is something that appears up in the sky with the moon and the stars, but only for a few nights. And you can tell it's a comet because it has a long tail. Will it be in the sky again tonight? Yes, but you'll have to stay up past your bedtime to see it. Dragon was very sure he could stay up to see something as exciting as a comet. <laughs> that night, Dragon was all ready to go. Mail Mouse had lent him her telescope, which would help him see the comet up close, once it appeared in the night sky. I just have to wait a few more minutes. Dragon was feeling very sleepy. It was almost his bedtime. But he was sure he could stay awake past it. After all, he'd never seen a comet before. But maybe I'll sit down, so I won't get too tired. But just sitting there on his warm, comfy bed made him feel sleepier. Oh, Ooh, I know. I'll count the hearts on my blanket while I wait. That will keep me awake. One, two, three, four... Dragon forgot that counting things is what a lot of folks do when they want to fall asleep. Make it awake. Mail Mouse told Dragon about a comet. He was very excited and tried to stay up past his bedtime to see it. But that was trickier than he thought. The next night, Dragon knew he'd have to be a bit more clever. Oh, I'm going to hide my bed. That way, I'll have nothing to fall asleep on. That took care of that problem. <laughs> then he borrowed alarm clocks from all his friends. I'll set the first one for my usual bedtime. <laughs> then this next one for one minute after that. Then this one for a minute after that. And so on. Now I'll hide them all over the house. <laughs> He hid two in the living room. He hid another in the kitchen. One in the bathroom. No. And one more in his bedroom. Now I'm all set. Dragon knew when his bedtime arrived, 
He'd be so busy finding all the ringing alarm clocks, he wouldn't have time to get sleepy and miss the comet. Later, at his bedtime... Ooh, there's my first alarm clock, but... Ooh, where did I hide it? Um, hmm. Oh, dear. And where did I hide that one? Um, Hiding the alarm clocks did keep Dragon up past his bedtime, but he got so tuckered out running around finding all the clocks. Snores Outdoors Dragon was learning it's tricky to stay up past your bedtime, even if it is to see a comet. Twice he tried to stay awake. Three, now I'll And twice. He'd fallen asleep and missed it. He decided this time he'd try to stay awake outside where there weren't soft things like beds and sofas to fall asleep on. It was just a little past his bedtime, and Dragon hadn't been in his yard this late at night before. Wow! I've never seen that many stars in the sky before. There were so many stars. Dragon just had to try to count them. One, two, three, four, Whoops. <laughs> Counting the hearts on my blanket was how I made myself fall asleep the first time I tried to stay up late. He'd find something else to do until the comet appeared. <laughs> then, ooh, ooh, he heard something. A cricket. <laughs> I wonder where it is. Dragon decided to look for the cricket to keep himself awake until the comet arrived. Oh, wait, wait. Running around trying to find all the ringing alarm clocks was how I made myself fall asleep last night. He decided he'd just sit on the blanket and wait. He wouldn't count things or run around looking for things. He'd just sit and wait. And wake up the next morning on his blanket in his yard. Bedtimes would be much easier to stay awake past if staying awake past them didn't make you so sleepy. Bedtime Schmed Time. Dragon was trying very hard to stay up past his bedtime to see the comet Mailmouse had told him about. But no matter what he did, he just got too sleepy. He always got sleepy when he stayed up past his bedtime because it was his bedtime. Then he came up with a clever idea. Nighty night, cat. Sweet dreams. In the middle of the afternoon, just after his lunch, Dragon decided to make that his bedtime. So he brushed his teeth, had a good stretch, and went to bed. Because Dragon knew no matter how hard he tried, he wouldn't be able to stay awake past his bedtime. And since this was his new bedtime, Then, that night, right around his usual bedtime, 
he woke up rested and all ready to go see the comet because he had a good long snooze. Good morning, cat. <laughs> I'll see the comet for sure now. There's the moon and some planets and so many stars. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And there it was, the comet with its long, beautiful tail. I see it. I see it. Oh, look at the long tail. I've never seen anything like that before. Oh, wow! <laughs> I saw the comet. I saw the comet. I saw the comet. <laughs> now I can go to bed. And in the morning, I'll tell Mail Mouse I finally saw the comet. Dragon was very happy he'd tricked himself into staying up past his bedtime to see the comet. Except now he just had one small problem. It was his real bedtime, but he wasn't at all sleepy. <sighs> one, two, Luckily, three, he knew lots four, of ways to make himself five, fall asleep. Six, seven, 